Hey guys, this is Mike the Scrapper. I received a gas meter from a contractor that was actually doing work, I guess for the gas company, and they destroyed one of the meters. Now, I'll show you later what they destroyed, and he's telling me that they can't use it. So now, I have it. I've never done a gas meter before. I don't think you have either, but let's see what's in this gas meter. Let's take a look. All right, so this is the gas meter. Now, I've never done one of these before, and to me, this looks brand new. But I think this is why they threw it out. I actually removed that red cap with a, with a uh, pair of pliers. Now let's see what's in here. Alright, this looks actually kind of weird, but um, I guess it's the, the engineering I'm fascinated with. Wow, there's a lot that goes into building one of these things. So now, this looks like steel. The rest of it looks like cast. And that gold piece looks like uh, brass. Yep. This is steel. This is cast aluminum. And this looks like brass. So now I'm going to try to loosen the steel off this cast. And it does not want to move. So I'm thinking like that saying, righty tidy, lefty loosey. Sometimes they reverse the threading and it's the opposite way of taking it off. But in this one, I can't do either. So now I'm going to try a different technique. Wow, this thing is on there tight. I have no clue how they put this on there. And as you can see, it's broken. So now this is my last technique. That's right, I'm gonna use a hammer. Alright, well 
or at least I have a costume for Halloween. So that pretty much looks like it did the trick. But I still have some cast aluminum covered on the steel. Now I'm just going to cut it, see if I can remove it. Now at this point in time, if you were scrapping one of these gas meters, I would cut your losses and don't even bother cutting it. I'm only doing it for a video, but as you can see, it's going to take more effort than what it's actually worth. This piece of cast is worth, what, a few pennies? It's not even worth your time, but it does make for a cool video. I always tell people, I make videos like this to show you so you know what not to do. And I was, as I was doing a further inspection, I noticed that this was actually, the steel was glued on to the cast aluminum. So now that that part is over, I didn't want to go through the whole story of showing you how to take it apart. I decided just to start on this. Maybe I'll have less of a problem. So now these look like the uh, look like arms don't want to come off. So I'm just gonna use a sawzall. What you can actually see is uh, more work than it's actually worth. After I cut it, I said to myself, why didn't I just use an angle grinder? It would have cut it in seconds and wouldn't have had to have all these problems of trying to pry all these pieces off this contraption. So now I'm going to use the angle grinder. And when you're using tools, please use goggles or safety glasses. And I also have a fire extinguisher nearby. So if you're doing something like this, please have a fire extinguisher. The engineering in this thing is amazing. The way everything has been put together and the way everything works is I've never I don't think I've ever taken anything apart that look anything like this. As you can see this is also glued. The plastic is glued to the cast aluminum. But I'm going to remove that with a chisel and a hammer.
Now this was given to me. They were gonna throw it in the trash. And this was given to me by a contractor. This has nothing to do with the gas company, or actually, actually it does, but the contractor was the one who was putting it together. And I guess they dropped it, because you could see it was brand new. And I guess uh, they're responsible now for a new one. And I've actually seen that you can buy these on eBay. So now these tips look like brass. And everything else looks like uh, a little uh, steel, actually. The other side has a small piece in the center of cast aluminum. And like I said before, after you take this uh, gas meter open, after you open it up, just cut your losses and just sell it as it is. Sell the bottom piece as cast. And if you can take those two uh, connections on the top off, that's great. But besides that, don't go through what I'm going through right now. Alright, so that's all the brass, and what's left on the vise is just a piece of cast aluminum. These pieces are all brass, the ends at least. And that's everything. Like I said guys, it's not worth taking all this apart. So now let's look at this price list.
All right, guys. Like I said, it's not worth actually taking the whole thing apart. If you can save the bottom part, which is cast, and break off those two connections, take it as a cast aluminum. If not, just throw it in with your steel. All right, guys. So this is Mike the Scrapper. Please comment, like, subscribe. Till then, peace.